Routine takes the complexity out of the tasks we do each day and makes them automated so you can use your energy to solve other problems elsewhere. The first thing you should do when you wake up in the morning is get out of bed. No, seriously, just do this one simple action without checking your phone and scrolling through the socials as this will absolutely crush your dopamine levels and in turn, your motivation throughout the day. I notice when I start the day on the phone, it sets me up for seeking more short-term pleasures and makes it harder to focus on my goal. If you struggle with this, try leaving your phone on airplane mode for the first couple hours of the day, as this has worked well for me. The next thing I do is put my shoes on and head outside for a 10 to 30 minute walk. One thing I've learned from watching the Huberman Lab podcast is that getting natural light in your eyes shortly after waking up is one of the best things you can do for your mood, sleep, energy, and most other bodily functions. It's also essential to allow bright light in the eyes first thing in the morning to set your circadian rhythm. Your circadian rhythm is your body's internal clock and dictates your sleep-wake cycle. Combining this habit with exercise has a compounding effect. And since implementing this, I've never slept or felt better. And in turn, my productivity and focus has improved massively. If there's one habit you implement in your morning routine, make it light exposure and let me know what effect it has on different areas of your life. After my walk, I've anecdotally found that stretching has significantly reduced my odds of getting injured throughout the day, especially while training. It also alleviates sore muscles from previous training sessions and aids in recovery, which I've also explained in greater detail in my previous videos. My in-depth stretching routine can be found on my channel, so feel free to check that out at the end of the video if you're unfamiliar with flexibility and mobility training. Foam rolling is also incredible for similar reasons, and science shows that most of the benefits are received in under two minutes. The next habit you should look to implement is reading. I'll generally sip a coffee or tea while I do this. However, I'm currently taking a month off caffeine, so unfortunately no stimulants for me. Reading is one of the best ways to consume information that will add to your life. Focus on reading everything when you first start, and you'll likely naturally narrow it down to a subject or topic that interests you the most. I'm currently reading Tools of Titans by Tim Ferriss, which gives you access to some of the most brilliant and accomplished minds in the world. Personally, I've found reading much easier to implement since graduating university. So if you're a student, use the time to read a textbook or get ahead with your work. Next up is a cold shower which unfortunately I can't show on camera, so head over to the OnlyFans for the behind the scenes footage. Yeah. Although initially unpleasant, cold showers have a range of health and mood enhancing benefits. It's been shown that dopamine levels increase dramatically after cold exposure and continue to rise for up to two hours. Cold exposure also boosts your immune system through priming the body's stress response. I also think there's massive benefits to be seen doing something uncomfortable at the start of your day, as it makes most other discomforts throughout the day trivial. Some of you might be wondering why I have my cold showers after reading rather than after exercise. This is because science has also shown that an increase in adrenaline improves learning and information retention. As someone that doesn't have the best memory, I implement all the hacks I can to improve learning. As I do intermittent fasting each day, this is generally pretty much all the essential habits I worry about. I think that seeing someone's routine and completely copying it right off the bat can set you up for failure. The reason this routine is so effective for me is because it is stacked with things that I like to do. I just consciously choose to get them done early so that they don't take a backseat and end up never getting done. Getting up a couple hours before work and doing things I genuinely enjoy primes me to have a more positive mindset throughout the rest of the day. Use this video as a guide and implement the habits you think will benefit you the most. Combining light exposure with exercise is arguably the most important habit on the list. So if that's all you feel like doing, then get that dialed in and the effects will compound over time. You'll likely find that you have more energy and can slowly add more productive habits to your morning. As always, thank you all for tuning in for this week's video. Appreciate all the support. Next week's video will definitely be a banger. So hope to see you all there. Cheersies.